Hi everyone, welcome back to Call Me Kinky. First and foremost, it's been a long time since I posted a video and um, life is just crazy. So I've moved across the country. I'm now on the East Coast and that was the biggest move of my life. I'm also back in school. I'm a graduate student now, so that is taking up a lot of my time. Um, if you read my blog, I kind of gave you a rundown on what life has been like from transitioning from working full time to being a student again. I will say it takes a lot of um, stamina. You don't sleep as much as you used to, and it is a lot of work um, all at one time. So everybody that's in school right now or going back to school, good luck. I definitely understand how it is to be a student again now that I'm back in that mode. So I haven't had any free time. As a result, my hair has just been very simple. I did a couple of twist outs when I moved here, but it was some rain and humidity and it really didn't work well for the environment. And quite honestly, I just really didn't have time to invest in my hair, even like retwisting it at night or rebraiding it at night. It's just like annoying to me. So I rocked a lot of buns. I've been wearing, um, I put in some mini twists just with my real hair uh, for a while. I kept those in for like three weeks, just took those out. And then uh, in between, I also wore my half wig by Holly's Curls or my three-fourths wigs that I made um, by Holly's Curls, Creole Wavy. Um, and I've had that hair for a while. I turned it into a three-fourths wig and I rocked that. So... What I'm going to talk about today, though, is my new hairstyle. I just did this um, two days ago. I did it by myself. These are Marley Twist. Um, and I just wanted something quick and easy, a protective style where I could get up and go and not have to worry about my hair. So I decided to just try it out. It honestly did not take a long time. I broke it up over like a four, three or four hour time span. I was working on and off. And I got more than 50% done in that time. And then the next day, I just had like the center to do. And I finished that within like an hour and a half. Um, the hair already comes separated. And I'll show you guys the hair I used. I used um, Nor. Okay. This is what it looks like on the pack. And... It actually should say like Marley hair. I think I lost that piece where it says Marley hair. But you just want to pick whatever brand that says Marley hair at your beauty supply store. Um, it's in the same area where like the kinky twist hair is. And I think people use the same hair for kinky twist. But the hair comes separated. I got it in a color um, two. And it's pretty long. I did not cut the hair. This particular brand, Nor, came with a little bit more in the pack. It came with 70 grams. So that's why I chose it because it was more in the pack than the other ones. It's by Janet Collection. Okay. And it is 100% Canaculon hair. Um, I used three packs total. They were $5.99 each. So $18 um, approximately for the hairstyle. That is all I did. I literally um, looked up some videos on YouTube and just started twisting. I didn't do it with any type of rhyme or reason. I didn't like part using a comb. I literally grabbed hair and went. The parts are just kind of all over. None of them are very straight. I knew that I wanted most of the hair to fall to one side. So I twisted it going this way. Um, and then when I was done twisting, I trimmed it just a little bit because I knew I wanted it long. But I wanted the ends kind of more even than they were. After trimming them, I... Um, set them on perm rods, just the regular perm rods you get from the beauty supply store. I used the pink and the gray ones. Those are two different sizes, and I also did that very randomly. I just grabbed hair and I rolled it. No rhyme or reason. I boiled some water in a teapot, poured the water in a cup, and I dipped the ends of my hair while they were rolled into the hot water. I let them st sit in the water probably about this much at a time. Um, I let it sit in the water for like 10 to 15 seconds and I took it out and that was it. So you guys can see some of the curls are smaller than the others. Okay, and I purposely pulled all the hair to the front during that process so I made sure I didn't miss any um, braids or twists. 
when I realized that if I realized some were not as curled as others, I just set it back on the rod and dipped it in the water again and it fixed the problem. So this is a very easy hairstyle. You don't have to know how to braid or twist very well to achieve the look. The reason why I like the Marley twist is because it looks like a very, to me it looks like locks. Um, it's not very neat for me in my opinion. It's not very neat. It looks very um, natural. It looks very Afrocentric and because I have natural hair and I love like funky hairstyles, this just works for me. You could certainly do yours a little bit more neat where your twists are very uniform and actually smaller than this. I just chose to do mine um, medium size and I, and I didn't do them all the same size. So some are actually bigger than the others. And I wanted that variety because... If I was to really have real locks, they all wouldn't be the same size. I wanted to create like um, a realistic look, although I'm using extensions. So uh, this is how they look. I'll turn around so you guys can see the back real quick. So they are pretty long, um, but I think this is a good length. I've also have worn these up in a bun. They look really cute up in a bun. Um, I would say if you're going to do this style yourself to budget about four to six hours, depending on your own technique. Um, here are the roots. As you can see, it's not very tight. And I did the method where you really can't tell, you can't really see a knot. You can look that method up on YouTube. If you just search um, Marley braids or Marley twists or something like that, you should see several different videos showing you multiple methods. I say use whatever method is easier for you. Um, but the benefit of using that method where you don't use the knot is that it looks more natural because you really can't tell where your hair starts and stops um, at the root. For example, okay. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I feel like I'm all over the place, but I hope I covered um, the majority of the information that you would need to try this look if you wanted to. I will give you guys updates, if not on YouTube, on my blog of how the hairstyle is working out. I plan to keep it in for at least two months, um, and I may need to touch up some of them in that time frame, and I will. So far, I've only sprayed them with the Shea Moisture um, Sheen like the spray uh, bottle stuff they have that's coconut oil and um, neem oil and some other things mixed together. I've sprayed that because my hair, I want to make sure my hair stays soft while they're in the twist. Um, to prep my hair, I made sure that it was conditioned and um, detangled before I put them in the twist. So when I take these out, my hair shouldn't be very um, tangled at all. I made sure I detangled each section. And so far, so good. I like them. I've gotten a lot of compliments on them from my classmates or whatever. So I think they turned out good, especially for it to be my first try. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I looked at videos and I just did what worked for me. So if you try it out, let me know. I wish you the best. Um, make sure you keep up with me at callmekinky.wordpress.com. Any questions, comments, leave them below. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity. Bye.